everybody, this is Joe Zaboon. Welcome to the Phantom Sign channel. We're here with more Seduce Me by Tome. And last episode, well, we got Jane's good ending. It was, it was good. It was just a normal good ending, like always. And, um, one of the thing I actually, um, figured out. One, we don't have no ad log. And the only way to get that, you have to get it from stream. But since I'm playing this on mobile and I have the free version, so we can't do any ad logs or any of that. But we can go check the gallery for CGs. And... And, the thing we can probably, and, but I'm thinking about actually, um, doing the CGs when we're about to now do Sam's route, because his route is this one we're about to do next. I mean, no, 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 wait, no, wait, <laughs> not Sam, Eric, oops. So, um, we here to actually do Eric's route, so... Okay, the first thing we have to do is still hit Sam again, so... How? You're just being violent now! <laughs> oh, good. Oh, God, not again. <laughs> you served it. Anyway, if you try to pull a f any fight in this in the future, just a far warning, I know Taekwondo. I think I... It's enough time to get back to the main issue. So, what exactly are, are all of you doing in my house? <sighs> Miss, please forgive us in our intrusion. We didn't time for the second warning. Anyone, nor did we have the time to take that Hello, into we're in Hello, we're Incubi. Not the other ones, we're the Incub- We're the male version. What? What do you mean? You can't just bar into people's houses. We wouldn't have had to if we weren't as wounded as we are currently. We just escaped from a deadly fight that could have ended our lives. Luckily for us, your home was near and the windows were unlocked, so we quickly came inside. Okay, the last I can remember, there are laws prefer strangers from stepping on private property. Though considering the ser series of these of these wounds, it had to be serious. I guess that explains the wounds, but not why he kissed me. He had absolutely no rights to do that. Well, lovely flustered lady, it's hard to explain, truly. We're not exactly normal. Not normal? Why are you guys... Hey guys, demon or something? I was joking, but the boys seem to take my question differently. Well, definitely, yeah. He's like, oh my god, how do we get tell her we are to demons on? Something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have to use um... Huh? We're incubi, miss. Demons who consume and use sexual energy of humans to survive. <laughs> incubi demons that hunt humans and make them sexual crazy monsters? That basically made that could look like anyone just to get into your pant. The imagine monsters you only saw in the movies or TV. I'm glad we're doing this again. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We're, we're... Hello? Did you hear him? 
But this is a virtual novel. We're telling the truth. Yeah, I see, we're, t we're telling the truth. And, and now you're here doing my route. Oh, okay. Do you think she's still processing it? Yes. And she'll understand right about... Right. That... Right? That was funny. It was quite last, but... It's time to cut the joke short, Inky Bice. Don't desist. There was no way they actually assist that would be apparently important. Ahem. Incubi is the correct plural for. And yes, we do exist. Prove it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. She's like, prove it. Well, <laughs> as soon as the words are in my mouth, I can tell the green though. Very well. Eric, go ahead. Go on, Eric. Go on. <laughs> and then Eric be like, Oh, my pleasure. Don't worry. Don't, don't really worry. It's my pleasure for doing this. <laughs> Very well. I will carry you to a dream. <laughs> my sweet. You're and so this is where we get Eric, CG. And that's Let why I'm doing this again so we can get... I, promise I mean, we do got in the gallery. You'll enjoy every minute of it. And maybe you'll even want more. Oh, jeez. What? Ugh. Once again, I lost in proof of calm and seriously stared into Eric's eyes and left a wave of heat coursed through my chest into my face. Burn my cheek red and there walk. I couldn't help but nod and agree to his offer. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's just get that. With another kiss, my heart began to burn once again in my chest. My mind was sensed and ease, passion felt pleasure. Once more, I couldn't feel my body drip of energy as he kissed me. All right, that's enough. Aw, very well. <laughs> I feel so much better. As he pulled away, I was left in a mildly surprised pull of a week. In the knees, displaying my will and determined me to stand straight in front of the boys before me. The world around the began to spin as I tried to s tried to speak. Uh, I think I'm going to. Ah, where are our manners? I'm James, and these are my brothers, Sam, Eric, Hello there. Matthew, <laughs> and Damien. Miss, are you okay? Nope. <laughs> she about Shit. to faint she from fainted. passion. That's, that's, that's what's wrong with her. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Inky by real? It's all spinning around my head until I saw only black. The flu in the darkness, my mind kept replying the scene over and over again, reminding my body of the touch of the lips against mine. However, it began to feel smooth around me, and my eyes laid on wide open. Hmm, where? I woke to find myself in an unfamiliar place. Where, where was, where was mom, dad? I was pretty sure this wasn't my room. Oh, wait, I live at grand, grandfather's house now. Of course it would be, un, of course it would be unfamiliar. I run my eyes and suddenly my, suddenly my roundings. I was still in... Clothes that arrived as house in, but I was lying in a skin covered bed. I remember coming in in the afternoon, so how was it nighttime already? What the? It's been a yawn. I shrunk on my arms. Maybe I should order some food for delivery. I was about to set up when I suddenly realized I wasn't alone. You're awake. Huh? Ah! <laughs> How long had he been staying there? Who the heck was he? A guy in my bedroom. Did we? No, 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 no. There's no way. Hmm. No, 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 no. Oh, s sorry. I think I was saying my thoughts aloud. Why? Well, why was I apologizing as a stranger while he said two words since I woke up? Wait, he looks unfamiliar. Then 
ilk come to ask me. Incubi, he was an incubi. He said brothers come here for rule and two of them kiss me. And then no! I figured that it was no! how things come to this. Go in Key's room. No! Go in Key's room. Oh. He was leaning against the far wall. Look at me, my heart begins to race as I thought of the endless list of possible abilities. This situation brought me. I hate the thought of being under an incubi's power. It's me in the bed. Jump and protect yourself. Be careful. It's time we got to pick jump and protect yourself. I immediately jumped up and grabbed a pillow, covered myself with it. It feels stupid, yes, but who knew what this guy could do? Do your worst. This time I'm prepared. He's uh, like, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna sleep with you. What do you, what do you feel like? <laughs> Damien, like, I'm, I'm not gonna sleep with you. Like, what do you, what do you feel? I'm like, what are those guys? I'm not. Like, jeez. I'm a calm one. Like, hello. He didn't move. I guess that he wasn't going to attack me. <laughs> Sorry. One thing still concerns me, though. I'm not going to use my powers on you. Right, I'm not one of those guys. Like, when you get to my room, I'm probably gonna be the calm one. Like, jeez. Huh? How? I can read minds. It's an ability I was born with. I'm, Each of I'm us like has a different ability. Stranger outside things. of our like, usual mind-altering powers. Great, ever more surprising my worries about the situation was in crew. I see, how long have I been asleep? For a few hours. <laughs> it's already gotten quite dark outside. Hmm. Uh, well, where are the others? My brothers are downstairs, cleaning up the blood from the lobby floor. <laughs> and making you dinner as an apology. Let me do something. We be back. Hold on. I'm going back here. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. We got him again. No! <laughs> okay. We gotta do this. But we gotta save. Cause this, cause, cause from last time, we paid calmly and it grew a bond with, it grew a bond with, um, Damien. So, what we gotta do is save at this point, so when we get to his route, we start at that moment. We start right here. This time we're still gonna do the same thing. Uh, I, I can read. Okay, so how long have been sleeping? For a few hours. <laughs> it's already gotten For quite a few dark hours. outside. <laughs> uh, well, where are the others? My brothers are downstairs. Cleaning up the blood from the lobby floor. <laughs> and making you dinner as an apology. Because we actually drained your energy, so we're completely sorry for that. That was only cool. Uh, okay, that's unexpectedly sweet. Oh, it's the least we can do after invading your home and two of us using our powers on you. You got a point. Right, I have forgotten about that. I'm still ill me that they had Prince taken advantage of me at that point. However, if they were demons, it was pretty rude to destroy their powers by kissing me. I was not some toy they could use. All of these seeds aren't re real. It was like something out of those romantic novels Nomi read. I wish I could have just went back to sleep and forgot all about this. Maybe I should have called the police on them. Then I never would have landed in this situation. Uh, do you feel well enough to get out of bed? Yes. I mean, yeah. I think so. Wow! <laughs> Trust me. I won't let you go. Uh, I'm not so sure about this. I promise. Uh, uh, okay, I trust you. Good. Uh, I was speechless. He was carrying me as if I was weight nothing. He was so strong. Thank you. 
Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. It's all right. You can read my thoughts. It. <laughs> I decided to close my mouth for the time being. I didn't want weird. I didn't want to weird him out or make things more awkward than they already were. Well, he didn't seem to mind carrying me on or listening to me talk, so at least things were too strange. What are you doing? What are you doing? No, what are you doing? Turn that back to your mom. Turn that to your mom. Damien seemed very quiet and calm about everything, considering what the situation we were in. However, there was a soft of long in his eyes when he looked at me. That wasn't. It wasn't wistful. It was more in disturbing. Once we reached the lobby, I decided that I feel well enough to walk on my own. As strong as he was, it was like he was carrying nothing. I didn't want to make him carry me everywhere. Yeah, that would be, that would be more friendful. Thank you for carrying me, but I think I can walk by myself now. What? Oh my god, whatever. Not saying that I didn't like it. I mean, I like it. Not in a weird way, of course. It not like I carry around all the time. What I am trying to say is that it was really nice of you to do that. I started to film my words again real smoothly. It's no problem. I'll be heading to the dining room then. Alright, see you. He gently he gently lowered me to the ground before he walked off quietly to spring into the shadows of the dark lobby. Oh! Hi! We just saved this moment. We're saving this too. Suddenly a boy walked suddenly a boy who looks like around my age or possibly younger bound over to me. He looks very full familiar or well or weighted. You're Matthew, right? Mm-hmm. That's me. Are you feeling any better now? We were all worried when you suddenly passed out. I am fine. Really? Your face is kind of red. Do you feel sick? No, I'm fine. I'm sure of it. I might have been blushing when Damien was carrying me downstairs. How embarrassing. Well, if you say so. I hope Sam and Eric didn't make you upset. It's okay. After all, I didn't hit Sam after what he did. As for Eric, I just want you guys to prove to me what you were saying. I suppose Incubies are real then. I wonder how exactly I got myself into this mess. First my grandfather, then a fight with my father blowed up at Lisa's. And now this, I'm going to have a knock for getting myself into sticky situations. Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. He stubbed his hands into his pocket with a cherry grab on his face. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait, be cool. Be cool. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Where's my book? What happened to my book? Yes. I think that one's gonna be calm, this one's gonna be cool. Okay. He tried to do a magic trick. Ta da! A bride demon rabbit. <laughs> um, what is that exactly? He smiled at it for a little bit to wave it off, but when he opened his eyes, he saw what he was holding. 
His face rose in shock. Wait a second. What did I just make? What in the world? Did he make a demon rabbit? Ah. What he brought from his pocket was a creepy looking doll. Ah, what is that? Yeah. I'm I'm not sure. <laughs> there, there. I'm here. I'm here to stab you. Ah. Ah. Oh my god, dude, that's all. His face work is serious he dropped it into a floor, shooting away brightly. Get it away from me! I do this so my demon or something! Know. But is he he's a demon? That's not what I wanted to make! I just wanted to surprise you with a stuffed animal or just something to cheer you up. That looks like it came straight out of a horror movie. He slammed his shoulders and looked down at his feet. Oh, it's okay. You don't have to look so dejected. I mean, it's considering I'm quietly. You can have it. I think I can it. You can have it. What? I appreciate the thought, but, uh, no thanks. That's... that's too bad. Are you sure? Listen, Matthew, when we get to your route, then I can take it. Till now, I have to get it back. <laughs> I pick up the doll and wave it around him. It was funny, he teased him. Oh, help! It's get gonna kill me! Get my face! Ah. <laughs> alright, alright, I stop. Uh, anyway, I'm heading back to help out with the food. You can come over if you're hungry. Hmm, I think I go with you then. Hmm, something smells good. My stomach rumbles in agreement. I was starving. Oh, the girl's awake. Excuse you, I have a name, you know. Should we really care? Sam, I will roast that tongue for dinner if it doesn't stop flapping in that idiotic mouth of yours. Shh, whatever. I apologize for his attitude. Oh, no, it's fine. Huh. Good. I hope you'll enjoy the meal we prepared for you. Meal? For a second, my mind didn't understand what James meant. Maybe it was the shock from the doll getting into my hand and just driving me. At that right, Damien and Matthew mentioned that they were making dinner as apology. Oh, wait, you didn't have to. We insist. Besides, it's quite impossible to undo our cooking, even if you command us to. Alright, well, thank you. Matthew pulled down the last of the plate on the table and blew it especially a change for me. Gently to table with a sweet mental. Ha, ah, there we go. Dinner's all served. The table was filled with food from a sacra curtain. One pose of the table was filled with a lit plate. Ashen food and of her potatoes, some yummy looking desserts. And there was yet more and more plates than I couldn't have possibly imagined. Wow, that's a lot of food. It looks amazing. We hope you enjoy it, my Especially sweet. Especially I'm the chef, so here you get my sweet. What, what sweet meat? That's enough, Eric. <laughs> You're no fun, James. I don't need to be fun, Eric. Miss, please follow me. I know what comes over me, rather it was his manliness or his powers, but I couldn't help but take his offer arm. James seemed very kind and intelligent, aside from that, there was something that set him apart from his brothers. Not to mention he didn't really seem to hold much odd for me. For them. Miss, I have to ask. Why do you live alone? Oh, well, it's kind of a long story. I'm all ears if you wish to tell. Sure, no. <laughs> Wait, what last song did we do? What did we do? I think we picked sure for him last time. This time we got picked no. It, I, it's fine. Maybe another time? Very well. Here's your seat, then. Sorry, James, you did your route, so, no. 
Let me get your chair for you, lovely lady. Oh, uh...
Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Um. <laughs> oh, Okay, what was doing? Oh yeah, this. <laughs> Air was very charming and his smile pull pull me pull at my pull at my heart. The way he kind of flirted with me, definitely designed him as the playboy of the brothers. Yeah, then notice that there was a little direct in his eyes. He's a Yuri. <laughs> By the way, I apologize for my behavior earlier. Stealing your second kiss like that. Huh? Oh yeah, when I didn't believe that they were in Incubi. Uh, it's it's fine, I guess. I mean, you didn't just get up and grab a kiss for no reason. I'm not as forward, unlike Sam. <laughs> Alright, I think we gotta stop right here. Hmm. 